channel so today we back with another video um today is friday march the 10th so y'all it's been a minute since i last posted it's been two months i know since we last you know posted it wasn't my intention you know to go this long but uh fast forward to now uh we're back today with a new and exciting video so uh, as y'all already read by the title uh, what this video is going to be about. Um, we're about to hit the road, um, take a little mini road trip because we're about to go pick up our dog, y'all. We're about to go pick up our little puppy. Um, so that's what we're about to do. Uh, we're getting a new puppy. Uh, it is a Bichon Frise and he is eight weeks. So yeah, this is his eight in a week and we're about to go pick up our new puppy y'all uh, this is crazy it hasn't set in yet until he actually you know like get here and we pick him up but we're about to have a whole dog like it's been years since i had a dog i had one you know years ago it was a poodle it was a boy a boy poodle sadly he um you know got hit by a car uh, that's a long story but um but anyway um the last place we stayed in didn't allow pets so we didn't have a, a pet den so where we are now we are allowed to have pets so um i've been wanting a bichon for quite some time now and that's what we um decided to get well that's what i decided you know to get so but um I'm more like a dog lover, not too fond of cats. So yeah, we're about to have a whole dog, like, it's crazy. But, but yeah, um, we're about to go pick him up because it's three hours. He's three hours away, and I decided to pick him up, you know, to save on shipping costs because he's trying to pay all that for shipping when I can just drive, you know, three hours. So um, the children are going with me. Uh, this is a spring break weekend, so they're not going to school today i decided to let them stay out you know today so we can take this little mini road trip we'll get our puppy and um we're gonna enjoy this weekend with the new puppy so but yeah um it is so it is um a little after seven o'clock we need to be getting ready to hit the highway because i need to stop and get um a little gas and then we're gonna hit you know the highway but i want to show y'all real quick um the few items that we already got you know for the puppy the rest of his stuff is coming you know today but um um right now um he just have his little retractable uh leash um i ordered it from amazon and we got him some pet cologne it's baby powder scent and we got this little uh like dog treat carrier thing uh, y'all can see and it has the uh paws and the bone on it i thought that was real cute we got all this from amazon so we're gonna put him in this um you know once we pick him up so we have to figure out how to strap it to the seat but we're gonna put him in it so i need to get a little blanket or something you know to put in there you know and um i may need to stop by dollar tree and get some uh pee pads um, I ordered some from Amazon, but they're not going to be here till later on. So I need something um, like some pee pads. And um, yeah, I just need to get something, you know, to hold him until we get, you know, home or whatever. So, but yeah, um, I need to grab some, some bags and some more stuff I need to grab that I just thought about. So, but yeah, um, I'm about to go get them up because we got to get, you know, hit this highway because we're supposed to meet up at, you know, 10 o'clock and pick them up at, you know, 10. So, 
Um, but yeah, that's the exciting news, y'all. Um, I'm about to start back, you know, posting on the regular and whatnot. So, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, we're about to get ready to get out of here and I'll chat with y'all in a little bit. transition him right because his stomach you know it can mess his stomach up if you suddenly put him on something else right right okay. and um in here is his registration papers okay. his health records his shot records health guarantee and then there's um a packet of information just for post adoption instructions things mm -hmm. you guys might you know need to know right um and the main thing for him is just making sure he's eating. Now, at his age, they just kind of nibble on their food throughout the day. They don't mm -hmm. sit there and just eat a whole bunch at once. Right, right. Um, so as long as he's going to his food bowl and nibbling on it throughout the day, that's totally fine. Uh -huh. um, if you notice that he's not eating at all, you may want to um, get some Royal Canin uh, wet puppy food. It's a uh, picture of it is in that packet. Okay. It's an appetite stimulant, and when you mix it in their food, it they they love it, so they they gobble it right up. Okay. Um, oh, wow. that's just if you notice that he's not eating. Right. Um, sometimes during the transition process, they get a little distracted because it's a new environment and yeah. they don't you know eat. Oh. But you'll just sign here oh, wow. and then fill out this information on the second page. Okay. Hey y'all, I'm back. So we finally made it uh, to our destination and y'all look what I got. He is so adorable. Listen at him. So y'all, we finally got the puppy y'all. It's been a long three hour drive. Y'all look, he is too cute. Oh my goodness. Y'all, we got a whole dog. I'm about to uh, give him back to Jazz so I can uh, hit this highway back because we got three hours going back. But y'all, we finally got the puppy. Like, look at him. He's, he's just so calm. They gave him the name Bruno. We haven't figured out a name yet. We got a name in mind, but we haven't, like, set, uh, we haven't, like, decided what name we're going to give him yet, so we'll figure it out. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all him real quick. We're about to hit the highway, and I'll chat with y'all uh, once we get back.
Hey y'all, I'm back. So we just made it back home. Um, y'all, it's been a long day. Um, I'm so glad to be back home and I'm hungry and I'm ready to um, get his stuff, you know, set up. I got a lot of stuff I just ordered. Um, so his stuff just came in um, from Amazon um, that I had ordered. So um, I got to set up his crate or cage or whatever and you know his bed so i'm going to show y'all everything you know that i got you know for him so he's upstairs right now with uh jazz in her room but um i'm downstairs trying to get stuff sorted out and you know somewhat you know organized um but yeah it's been a long day i drove i drove there and i drove you know back because she was occupying uh the puppy or whatnot so but yeah, uh, um, we're finally uh, back at home, and y'all, we still can't believe like we got a dog. Like we still trying to uh, process it and adjust to having a dog. And we we put him down when we uh, got in here, and he already like made himself at home. So so yeah, definitely gonna take some getting used to having a dog you know, here and barking and, you know, all that. So hopefully um, he don't bark too much. He was pretty chill on the way home. You know, he didn't give us too much, um, you know, trouble or anything. So I got to feed him. So uh, cause I'm not sure when the last time he ate. I got him some, some treats, but he didn't want it. Um, I got him some treats from Dollar Tree, and they are the um, just some dog treats that I – you know, picked up real quick, and they are the cheese flavor, and he he didn't want that, so um, the breeder ended up giving me a sample of the dog food that they got him on, which is nutri nutri source dog food, and I had already ordered me some from Amazon, so he got like two bags from Amazon that I got, and um, I got these puppy pads from. Um, Dollar Tree. I just had these um, to cover us on the way, you know, home. So he did real good peeing on these. As soon as we um, felt like he had to pee, we laid these out and he, he used it. So that was good. But um, I got his papers and registration packet all in, in this little um, thing here that they gave me and what else i'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see everything else that i got um you know for him and then um his uh little crate so i'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see all right so um this is um what just came in today um this is uh his harness and these are his training pads these are the 100 count uh training pads and right here is his bowl um with the mat you know surrounding it so we got that and it looks like a little scoop the little scoop came with it, but I ended up I ended up ordering him a scoop for his because eventually I'm gonna get him a big bag of dog food. But um, this scoop I didn't realize it was this big. But anyway, I just got him a little scoop for his food. This is the bag of dog food that I got the Nutri Nutri Source um, dog food. That's what they got him on, and I just got two bags of those. And right here is just a little security camera so we can watch him while we are away when times when we need to leave him alone. So I got that and I think that's it um, for this box. And like I say, these are just um, stuff that I got. Um, this is what I got from the breeder. And right here is his little, um, little plush, little bed. That it, this is gonna be going in his, um, 
in his little uh, crate. So I'm gonna show y'all over here. So this is his um, uh, little crate and I'm about to uh, go ahead and get that set up. It's the two door folding crate. So I ordered it, you know, pretty, you know, big enough for, you know, him to get a little, a little wear out of it. I didn't want to get it too small, but not too big. And also, um, this come with the, um, uh, divider, uh, panel. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and set that up and put his, um, bed together. So yeah, he's going to be set up right over here and his his crate gonna be right there and then i'm trying to see where i'm gonna put his bowl uh maybe like right there so um i'm just trying to figure everything out
All right, y'all. So I finally got his little uh, crate put together. His um, bed uh, fit in there just right. I was going to put the divider in there, but since his bed um, is kind of like taking up the whole crate, um, I said I wasn't going to you know, worry about it. So um, his bowl uh, for food and water is right there. So when he come out um, on this end, he can pretty much uh, go to his, you know, bowl. So, um, and then this is the, the front. This is the uh, front uh, door. So, well, yeah, I was going to put it over there, but I decided to bring it back, you know, over here so he can, you know, have quick access, you know, to it. So I'm going to go ahead and wash these out real quick and go ahead and put his food and water in there so he can come down and eat. He's still upstairs right now, but um, I know he's uh, ready to eat, but um, I got that set up so far. And um, where is his sample? We have to find the sample. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, the sample uh, dry dog food in there. And I was thinking eventually I want to get like some type of, I don't want it to be too cluttered over here, but eventually I want to get some type of storage, storage so he can have all of his food, toys, and you know treats and all that stuff nearby his you know crate so that's what i was thinking but i'm not sure so i may need to move this down a little bit more because my dining table is like it's like right there but um it's still spacious like i still got a lot of you know space so so i just have to adjust as need be but anyway i'm about to rinse out his little um stainless steel bowls and put him some food and water in it and see if he can, um, you know, eat.